Uh, glutamine is an amino acid uh, that is uh, required by a normal person in fairly high dose. Uh, glutamine has a number of functions um, and it's basically a backbone of the protein. And also it's a backbone of a number of antioxidants, especially uh, nucleic acid, NAD. It's also a backbone of uh, glutathione. Uh, many people thought that uh, glutamine might help glutathione and it may to some degree but uh, what we focused on was that uh, <coughs> glutamine was a very important precursor for NAD which turned out to be the most important antioxidant for uh, uh, hemoglobin that is uh, uh, where the sickle cell disease have problem. Uh, and uh, we were quite successful just by providing this L-glutamine uh, that uh, we were going to de decrease the um, damage to the hemoglobin and to the red blood cells in sickle cell disease. The significance of this L-glutamine is that uh, unlike other amino acids, it almost appears like uh, this is nature's way of trying to provide as much uh, amino acid and nitrogen that our body uh, needs. And uh, we can take almost as much glutamine as you want and there is hardly any side effects. There are some studies that have used uh, three or four times more amount of glutamine than ours for three or four months and there was really no side effects or adverse events reported. Uh, in our case, uh, we used 30 grams of glutamine um, mixed in uh, liquid uh, every day uh, that have uh, reduced uh, number of painful crises um, by about 25% uh, uh, depending on the study and um, we were able to reduce the um, actual stay in the hospital by 41%, reduce the frequency of acute chest syndrome by about 58% and significantly increase the uh, duration between crises uh, by about 40%. So almost in every um, aspects we were able to show that it improves. Now last year we intuitively felt that uh, it not only decreased the frequency of painful crisis but it probably decreased the severity of crisis because what we have seen is like a number of patients that had to uh, go to the emergency room uh, because of painful crisis there are much less number of patients who are actually hospitalized and much much less patients who actually had to go to the ICU. So we have actually took a look at the uh, difference in severity of the data. Uh, fortunately, we were able to uh, get the records on severity, which we labeled from 0 to 3. And uh, we have shown in the data that we are presenting this year that uh, numerically we are able to show that uh, severity of crisis have actually gone down by using uh, L-glutamine treatment. So this is uh, to show that last year we were able to show that uh, we have decreased the frequency of these events. This year we are showing that uh, severity is actually gone down and we are able to show this uh, in statistically significant manner numerically.